Yo, what is up you guys? Realistic Gaming here. And today we are on Trains for Days channel. I came across this video, Sovereign Mind. Now this video caught my attention because it's based on Thomas and Friends and whatnot in Soda Island, but it is analog horror style. But I've never seen a video like that, so that should be interesting. So with that being said, let's watch the video. Afternoon, and today's excitement among many today as the scheduled total solar eclipse is to occur later this day. The meteorological event is said to be best viewed if you're on the northwestern parts of England, northern Wales, or best seen on the Isle of Man or the island of Sodor. The event has been reported to be quite significant according to astronomers as the eclipse path has been said to be an oddity of sorts as the island of Sodor nor the Isle of Man never experienced any type of dimness oh. of the sun's light in the last few centuries. Therefore, however, many claim now that this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to witness with your bare eyes. I'll now send it over to Mr. Garfield, who is at Sodor as we speak. I'll let you take it from here. Okay, so basically yes, there's going to be Mr. an Rowan. eclipse. Many of the youth, adults, and even the local locomotives are quite anxious yet excited about this event. Right with me here is Sir Topham Hatt, director of the North Western Railway, and the gentleman hosting this gathering we see at Tidmouth. So, sir, what, what could you think is the reason behind the fuss? Well, simply put, this is the first total solo eclipse event to occur above solo since the founding of the Subterranean Society. A once in a lifetime event, including me and my engines. Is that right? Oh, dude, they got the whole squad oh, James, so Henry, cool Gordon. Ah, it's just silly. It's just the moon would... covering the sun. What's so fascinating about it? Ugh. Oh, no, he loves being very unenthusiastic. Unenthusiastic? What's that? Oh, no, unenthusiastic. It means Gordon isn't very excited like we all are, unfortunately. For sure. Of course, of course. Delighted to hear the input from the engines and. Uh, oh, blimey, I, I say, it is starting oh, already. Tasting like it's well, no begun. Matter. Prepare the camera. Come on. Oh, there was like some eyes at the top corner. Okay, so the eclipse have started. So what seems to trigger everything is this eclipse that has, is going on on Soda Island, which hasn't happened in many years. So let's see what it brings Show with eyes it. Upon this, a once in a lifetime event on Soda of all places, just a completely extraordinary. Such a sight to be in. The crowd simply cannot fathom what has happened. This is truly amazing, and part of me for saying this, but I'm getting chills and goosebumps. What, what, what's happened? I, I say, it's quite the experience, and it's a bit difficult to... It do look kind of evil, though. I don't know. We interrupt you, uh, regular pro program, to bring you a message from the... Her Majesty Government, please stand by and await further information. All right, I'm I'm a little excited. We excite interrupt to regular programming to bring you a message from Her Majesty's Government. Please stand by and await further information. Okay, now we wait. This is an emergency warning from the Home Office. Information of multiple fires and explosions had been reported in multiple areas of the Northwest. To civilians living in the areas of Manchester, Liverpool, Southport, Preston, and Morecambe, are best advised to seek immediate shelter. To those living in the following areas of Ulverston, Ascombe, Ravenglass, Sellafield, Dalton, and Barrow in Furness, are ordered to return to their homes and await further instructions from the Ministry of Defence. Do not interact with anyone on the way home, and do not attempt to cross any bodies of water. More information is to arrive shortly. Alright, seems like the catastrophe has happened. So this has been explosions, a bunch of things going on, like a chain of events, to be more precise.
Playing tic tac toe with the clown. <laughs> Who is that? Fatal error. Is this still on? It's, it's rolling. I don't know who to trust anymore. The, the engines. It happened. It all happened so quickly. Stay away from the rails. Don't approach any of the engines. If one of them cancels your eye contact, you're done. Is that Thomas? Fuck. I could have sworn I just heard James's whistle just now. Oh, James. Thomas. <laughs> What just happened? He said to avoid John Miss and then he was right next to him as he turned. Then it seems like he might have killed the guy after. Emergency warning? This is an updated message from the home office. The current situation has been elevated to critical. All citizens within a 19 miles radius of the island of Sodor are advised to stay indoors. Rail travel has been temporarily banned until further notice. Access to the island has been restricted as well. Both entry and exit are temporarily prohibited. The Ministry of Defense advises everyone to stay approximately 500 meters away from any form of railway for your own and others' safety. Local authorities are limited to help only those with minimal need, and cannot help those who ignore the previous warnings. The warning is estimated to remain through the entire meteorological event. Alright, so it seems like only the local motors are the ones that have if been If you are affected. within range of a railway, run as fast as you possibly can in the opposite direction. If you are within the range of red autonomous and the belly, then God help you. Okay. Dude. Trying to see what this is, but I can't. Okay. Oh, Thomas. A tank engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, a short stumpy dome, formerly a branch line engine, currently a husk. Dude, before and after the eclipse. Holy crap. Okay, assessment. Make no noise, do not approach. Yeah, it looked like his eyes were disappeared or something. Okay, yeah, not anomaly to Edward. Was an old reliable engine, current status is known. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so that was that was Edward, the one that we seen at first. Assessment unknown. Anomaly three. Henry, formerly a mixed traffic tender engine, originally a prototype needed special coal to be driven. Before and after. What? Redacted? Assessment conjugative hazard do not observe. Gordon? Anomaly 4K, formerly the, formerly the express engine of the Wild Norwester, status as of 1998 neutralized. Notes once it became autonomous. Dang it. Anomaly 5. Oh, this is James. Before and after. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he definitely needed to go to church, bro. Need some Jesus in his life. Okay, so as you can see, you have to like decrypt these um, um, Morse code messages. Anomaly 6, Percy. For footnote after the incident at Timoth Bay with the Royal Navy, all data regarding this un anomaly is to be expunged for the greater good of humanity. Dude, what? You look like a whole monster, bro. <coughs> Assessment. Lose. All. Hope. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, what? Dude, that is insane. Property of... Trying to read it, Sovereign Mind. Holy crap. All right, dude, this was a film by T4D Productions, 2021. Wow, has it been since 2021? It's 2023 now. <laughs> dude, this was like so well made. Holy crap. I want like a series of this or something. All right, that was like a 20 out of 10, bro. I give it 10, 10 out of 5, bro. It was, it was amazing. All right, so as we can see, we did see like decryptive messages and like the morse code and all that thing I, I was gonna go ahead and be like you know detect myself but i'll just go in the comments and i'm pretty sure it's look look at all this let's actually try to decode this okay so we got a translator here and then uh convert it says xxx.com to find x required you to decrypt the same way you decrypted in the tape to find y go to 1005 1006 good luck t4d okay so, oh yeah i did see like something pop up and I was trying to read it but it was too quick and it went away 1004 it was right here they go okay so there's like more more uh not morse code um what's it called binary code here but your boy is just gonna go straight to the comments and see what it said okay decoding James formerly mixed traffic good engines anomalies now a spatial edit I'm done decoding here we go James formerly wait James formerly a mixed traffic goods engine Anomaly is now just spatial and temporary entity not existing within our realms of reality. What? What does that even mean, bro? I don't know what that means, but it definitely means something. All right. Well, um, I don't know if you can say What can this relate to? Are they like SCPs or something? I don't freaking know But I guess we'll never actually know because he never continued this series. I think it was just like a little standoff one episode type of thing. Sadly, it was amazing. But yeah, it is what it is. And shout out to uh, Trains for Days one more time. I'll link the video down in the description so you guys can check it out. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.